Just come in first thing this morning. Look at this. What a little cutie. I'm not sure that's its mother though. No, I think that one's its mother. Number 32. Good girl. Careful. I'll go and get her a drink. Good girl. Oh, see that, guys? So it's having its first poo, which is that colour because it's its essentially its mother's poo. So that means it's had something to, to drink because it's flushing its insides out. So that's handy to know. I'm not quite sure why these lot are all rammed in here. <laughs> like a little sardine party. And there's all that room at the back. Oh well. Are you finished? Good oh, girl. That's it, you're done. There's a tiny bit then, I don't think you'll get it. Good girl, come on. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just here with Russell. Um, I'm just in the yard and I'm gonna do a farm tour today. I put on my Instagram this morning, which is Tuesday, um, what people want to see. And a few people said farm tour and I thought that was a good one because we've not actually done that. Um, so yeah, let me show you around. Are you coming? Oh. So you'll have also seen there are props. Me and Alex have made a reel. And um, yeah, there are our props for it. But you need to check that out because it's a great reel. Uh, anyway, right. Okay, so first things first, out of the main yard, we're just on with changing the, um, the teat dips, well, sprays. Uh, this is the dairy tank there, overflow tank, all the equipment. A bit boring in here really i'm not going to show too much and then we've got a pre-dip and a post-dip which are both sprays and then obviously we come oh these two are just empty in the um paper towels and then we come into the parlor which is where i spend most of my life i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um what have we got in here so we're a ten aside ten aside doubled up and um, we've actually extended this i think it'll have been about two or three years ago it could have been as long back as three now um it's a full wood parlor everything's on auto id uh which is what the black things are on the troughs that reads all the air tags and there are our keypads you'll have seen most of in here on my milking video so again that shouldn't be done i'm not going to spend too much time in here these are both our sprays so we've got a post spray and a pre-spray and yeah so that is that is the parlour. So come to the back of the parlour and that comes to our collecting yard, which is very small considering. Um, and it's quite a tight turn in here, but anyway, we make do. Um, so yeah, that's our collecting yard. And in the building, there's a passage which they go down as well. So it's not like we don't cram them all in here. It's very much as and when. I'll go out the front actually. So if your cow is coming out of the parlour this way, it'll then turn left there's a bit of a like a loafing area all around here which they can spend some time in and then that will take them straight down the race which everything goes down the race every milking and everything will get foot bathed so that's what that i'm not going to go through because it's a bit of a squeeze for me to get through um this is our shedding pen so anything that we need shedding that'll get shedded off into here down into the race where we've got the race and then the yoke at the front so that's all that and then anything that's not getting shedded and everything that comes down the race as normal down there will then come into this loafing area obviously the gates are across there at milking time uh, and they stand in here where they've got a water trough um i'll show you yeah so they've got a water trough and they've got a brush as well to ent entertain themselves uh, slurry pump that's all barricaded off so that's all kept safe um these are our loose boxes which um one loose box we just it's mainly for our crush now well it is only for our crush and it's got a power washer in and a water bowser um and then in here we put anything that's ill or that's yeah you know really ill normally comes in here as a bit of a one-on-one -on -one treatment um that's a 
airline pipe that we use if we need to milk anything in here that can't quite get to the parlor well, it is just over there so it's not too much of a walk for them and then this is what we call the 14. i'm sure every farm and it's not just ours we call fields um pens sheds you, you, they've all got their own special name this is called the 14 and we call it the 14 because when we first came here there was 14 cubicles in here um so yeah it's just called the 14 there's not been cubicles in here for absolutely years now oh no you're not coming out um but it's the name has just stuck so i'm gonna put that chain over because this one thinks she's leaving for some reason she might be ready to go in the building actually if she's um should be new 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 carb yeah so she's new carb so anything new carb comes in here um they'll come in here for about again it varies depends if the so if the new carbs and they're doing well they'll be in here for about three four days um if some need a bit of extra attention a bit of an extra care then they'll stay in here even longer We've also got some like lame ones, old cows. We've got a really old girl. I think she's on a tenth carving. So yeah, we we just don't want to put her in the building because we want her to be comfy, comfy. As you can see, they're just on a big straw bed in there. She's new car. That's the one that had twins. I think I've got a clip of that actually, which I might add into this video. Um, she had twins, carved herself, touch wood. Everything went well, and everything is going well. She's milking all right, and she looks all right in a set. And to top it off, twins. How cute. So I'm just bringing her a drink. She's really heavy, actually. I think I've pulled my arm. Yeah. Good girl. Well, you've been very clever. Pop them out herself. Good girl. Very cute. So that's good. That's the new heifer that we've just brought. Carlina in the back. The biggest pain in the arse you have ever come across in a cow. Let me tell you that. Right. This is classed as a bit of a sick pen or obviously your new carvers or anything like that. And the dice is their feed trough. So this is the, the mix that all the milk cows get. And then right at the end here, we'll always put a bit of just plain silo because they might find the milking mix a bit rich if, they're, if they've got a bit of a sore tummy or something. So we give them just plain silo as well and they can pick and choose. Also, if something's been operated on or that something is really ill, we will put some hay in there as well. Just something really plain for them to have a go at. Okay, so walking up from the 14, we've got this shed, which everyone always asks us, are we going to farm giraffes? Which would be pretty cool because um, the roof is just ginormous. I'm not actually sure why it's so big, but it is. Anyway, in here we've got cribbed wheat. Take you in to have a look if anyone is interested. So yeah, this is just wheat crimped and it's got an additive on it. Um, yeah, don't really know what else to say about that. I need to do a, um, a feeding video. So yeah, that's one silo. And then next door to that, well, first of all, we have the muck midden and the slurry pit, which you'll have seen in my last video that we've completely emptied. And then here, hello. <laughs> We have our top dries, as we call them. So the anything that's in here. Yeah, so anything that is in this pen is um, stuff that we've just dried off. So anything that gets dried off straight away, they come straight into this pen. Um, yeah, just a big empty barn. All bedded on straw. Really comfy for them. Isn't it, girlies? So yeah, they'll be eight, about eight weeks off carving. And then next to them, we have the top top. Again, with all the strange names that farmers call the buildings. And what is it in there? Six. Yeah, there's just like six or seven cows. And that, so we move them out of the big group. They come into this group. Um, oh, bloody hell, I've missed the bottom dries. I'm going to go back and do the bottom dries. Because I wanted, to, anyway. Um, so yeah, from the big, big group, they then come into this group mainly for space we don't want them to be overcrowded so anything that's if there's going to be too many in the big pen they come in the top top or if we've got a lot that are about four weeks off carving they then come in here because then we feed them a pre-carver roll which is like a dry cow nut um with extra vitamins and minerals um 
yeah this is our feed area here hello girlies all led down in there not to disturb them i don't really know which way i'm going around it i'm doing like a bit of a zigzag i want it anyway it is what it is so this is where we are now we're just at the top see the fields there are our fields straight shed so let me right so this is the straight shed and a few of the straight feeds that we put into the feeder wagon um and all of that sort of stuff again like i said i'm going to do a video on feeding not just a blend that we put in the feeder wagon there's all sorts of different components but my brother is the man for that so i'm going to go around with him one day and do that right now we're at the top of the yard okay this is the view from the top of the farm onto the main this is the main cow building so the girders that you can see here this middle part when we first got here was actually the silo clamp um and we've removed the walls and yeah converted it into a bigger cubicle house so they look happy in there don't they so yeah we've got the cubicles What's the cubicles there head to heads and then we've got two feed troughs and then right at the far end of the shed right down there there is the gate where they come into the milking parlor and as you can see there then wooden cubicles they are the oldest cubicles ever but they absolutely love them you'll actually be able to see i wonder if i can zoom every one of them is full they love them but they break them all the time they're a pain in the backside i'm not gonna lie um so yeah uh we've got a fan there a fan here and a fan of water troughs all around and then yeah the feed troughs are over there as well so yeah that is the that is the main cow building oh you come to say hello hello Yeah, so that is the main cow building there we do have two cow sheds now nothing is we don't have a high yielders or a low yielders everything is run together um we have a top 70 here which is just across the way that we always bring down first so when it's milking time we'll open this top gate run them down run them down the slope which will take them into the feed passage area into the main building and 90% of the time, them top 70 will come into the parlour first and then they'll come back up here as well. But there's no there's no separate groups. There's no highs or lows or anything like that. They're all just a mixed group. Um, so yeah. So they're the top 70 in there. Right next door to that, which storing straw at the minute with our cracking old tractor and straw chopper. She is a belter. She was with us at the old farm which was years ago so yeah she's a belter isn't she <laughs> looks a bit tired now but anyway she still does the job scrape tractor lime because we, we lime the beds morning and afternoon again i'll show that in the routine video i don't want to give too much away because then i'm going to run out of stuff to show you uh so yeah that's all the straw and then the girls are next door actually now i'll go to the feed passage <laughs> you going to say hello oh hi <laughs> um oh yeah i think i said on one of my videos that we were trialing out some mats these are the mat beds as you can see the straw doesn't stay on very well um oh sorry love did you want to get in the video oh please don't look it um oh they're eating some straw anyway babbling now here's the feed trough for the top 70 hello you all right good girls and these have got um, a brush in as well we have brushes in this shed and the bottom shed unfortunately the dry cows don't have one but we do let them out in that loafing area so they can have a go on that one And 
they've got a water trough in the building at the bottom and they've also got one here as well and then we have two silo buildings let me zoom back so in the first silo building we've got maize that's maize maize and there is a bit of silo on the bottom of that clamp that's a bit of silo there that we've obviously put maize on top of um, that's all nice to get and eaten back. This will be feeding straw as opposed to the other building. That'll be bedding straw. This will be all the, what goes in the feeder wagon. Oh, it's very echoey in here. Um, I've nearly eaten back in this one. So we've got a bit of rolled barley there. Um, feeder wagon and tractor. And then the silo. Which, yeah, is literally nearly all gone. Silo buildings are open at both ends. What a lovely day. Look at that view. Oh, Alan has just come with a new heifer. Alan is a farmer from down the road who uh, rears heifers and brings, I think he brings most of them here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and un unload that with him and Alex. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can get a bit over the top. Half of an hour, he's just a little bit too long. Do you think? I have asked a lot of people about that. Come on, good girl. When did she carve? Thursday. Thursday. Milk, quiet milk. No issues with this. Carved me a bull calf, unfortunately. Hmm, not ideal. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, good girl. Look at that, perfect. Picture button. Oh, I don't know. Got it? Ruin your video of it. Can you get close up? Right, she's rolling and drenched, and if you can see her walking past now, just under her belly, she's got quite a bit of swelling. So instead of putting her in the cubicle house with the cows, we're going to put her in a loose box just so she can lie on a big straw bed and hopefully that swelling will go down in a few days. Come on, good girlie. Come on. It's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> she doesn't want to move. There you go. Come on, good girl. Guys, that she was born. Where is it? Oh, there. On Christmas. Oh, we have to call her Mary then. Mary. Oh, yeah. She's already got a name. Oh, is she? Marky. Well, Marky Mary. Mary Marky. <laughs> right, Grand, thank you. See you next time. Okay, so behind me, parlour. See the parlour? And then I've just come down here, which we come into the dry cows. And these are the near two carvers. So these will be carving now. From now, which there is nothing there's nothing carving so we're good so they are all, all in here so again everything that's a dry cow is all on loose bedding they're all on a loose big bed as you can see um in here we have got a camera where is it there that's that's actually my camera for the horses but um since cheeky bought it a foal i've not actually had to have it so my dad's nicked it so yeah, that's great. Um, anyway, so yeah, so that's handy. So they're all here. Um, these are down the bottom because the house is literally just there, as you can see where Richard's walking. <laughs> um, 
so the house is there so it's handy for like anything that's carving in the night we don't have to trek all the way up the farm and then down here is a little feed passage and russell russell what are you doing um so yeah and that as you can see can you see over there that is the back of the slurry pit what are you doing so yeah this is the bottom dries it's in at four weeks as a dry cow gets a dry cow roll um which we will feed morning and night just down the trough it's just a little nut um so they get fed them yeah, this is oh it's raining it's just starting to rain but anyway yeah bottom dry cows bit of a loafing area outside bella is playing uh, ball with me <laughs> and then next right next to the um bottom dries which i'm just going to turn you around now and show you yeah so here we have the bottom dry cows and then right next door if we just bob through this little bobby hole is the calf pens so let's turn these lights on so i've shown you a bit in here anyway as it is um with four big pens in here one two three and four and then we also have the baby pens just the single pens which they come into first this was one from the weekend i know and then there's two over here as well comfy and cozy so yeah these will probably end up moving um in the next day or two anyway and they'll go into the next door big pen with them lot yeah i've shown you the feeding system in here so pipes onto a a bit of plywood with a teat stuck on the back end of it all in a flutter valve straight into the bucket of milk now people always ask me about this um yes we leave them with a bit of milk during the day yes it goes cold and yes they still drink it so we do leave it with them because they do come back and drink it um so you just get a little bit of provin and water which they drink so much water it's actually surprising how much expect like these are babies these are only what four or five days old but you will you will really realize how much water they drink um when it froze up we used to put buckets in instead because obviously the water troughs weren't working and they would drink so much water um so yeah these are the calves they all look very cozy we've all still got jackets on everything gets a jacket on up until it doesn't fit in it look fit it anymore oh there's my um there's our little real calf it's so friendly uh but yeah right i think we've covered the farm there's not really a lot else for me to show you i don't think um please let me know if you any videos that you want to see is there anything you want to see more in depth please do let me know because i will do it but my videos they're going to go live every wednesday at 5 p.m every single wednesday i'm going to do a farm video so if you want to subscribe there's also like a little bell that you can press that'll give you a notification once it's posted please do that um but yeah every wednesdays 5 p.m there'll be a cow or farm related video going on um and then every if i've got something else i want to upload it that'll be on a sunday whether it's horses dogs anything like that um i hope you enjoyed the little tour guys bye